the Shot Town lineup is as follows Van Stapperscherf in goal, Harfield, Harries, and Rowe. The centre backs, Glover and Monoga. The wing backs, O'Keefe and Frost in the centre of midfield. And then Josh Stokes playing behind Lauren Tollage and Kwame Thomas. Midfield with Jaden Harris, the former shot, coming back to the EBB. Enzio Baldwin's the skipper on the right side of midfield. Bailey Clements on the left on loan from Chesterfield. And uh, Chris Maguire then playing behind McCallum and Quigley. Mina, and uh, he doesn't get himself unnecessary. Booking says Tolage holding off his man and he's free. Edge of the area, they're going to try a left foot shot. It's not a bad one, it's spilled. And eventually picked up again by McDonnell. Come on. He came on in the FA Trophy tie last Saturday and he acquitted himself well. And certainly, I think that was good management from Tommy, telling telling Ollie Scott that he wrecked the. Jaden Harris with the shot. Oh, it's in, it's a goal. Paul McCallum again against Aldershot. Paul McCallum with his 20th of the season. Simple ball just clipped inside to McCallum. And he got his shot away. It wasn't the strongest, it wasn't in the corner, but. I think Van Stappershoff was slightly unsighted, and yet again, Paul McCallum has scored against all the shot down. 20 minutes gone. Shots nil, easily won. Yeah, I think it bounced over Jordi's dive. Baldwin, as Baldwin dragged it over the line for a corner, nothing given. Glover chases, the ball comes back out to Ollie Harfield, into the left edge of the penalty area. Can he get a cross in? No, he comes back to Glover. Glover clips the ball in, Tolad tries to get a touch, he's headed away. It'll be sent further upfield now by Eastley, only as far as Kean Harris. Controls it with his chest. Back out to half field. All the shot certainly showing the endeavour to try and get back into this one. Harris clipping the ball up to the far side for Thomas, who heads it back inside. Half headed clear. Only as far as O'Keefe. Right foot shot. It's just wide, and Stuart O'Keefe inches away from a clever finish that would have bought his first all shot town goal on his first start in three months. If it's lucky, uh, here's Tolage. We're back underway. Uh, Baldwin sends it inside to McCallum, who's in the mood again, yet again. Finds Maguire. Maguire trying to get away from Stokes now. Stokes nudging up against him, letting him know that he's there. Still, Jaden Harris waits to come back on. O'Keefe's not ready to. Now Harris comes back on. Atangana sends it out to the left hand side to Bailey Clements. Now back to Atangana. Inside to Maguire. Heavy touch. Can Harry's get there? No. Maguire sends it out to Jaden Harris. Gives it back to Chris Maguire. Chris Maguire clips the ball in. It's left and punched away by Van Stappershoff. Only to the edge of the area. Bailey Clements rifles it back into the net. And it's 2-0 to the visitors. Bailey Clements on loan in Chesterfield. Arrowing a left foot shot past Van Stappershoff. And a poor start for the shots has now got worse. 34 minutes gone, Aldershot Town nil, Eastley two. I think it has been, it's been a pretty even game. A couple of chances each, and Eastley have made and created, uh, sorry, created and taken theirs really, really well. Tell you about the goal in just a second, but here's Aldershot on the attack. Kwame Thomas pulls it back, and Stokes meets it at the far post and just turns his shot agonisingly inches wide. Very nearly his 13th goal of the season. It wasn't to be, though. Harris, and Harris finds M Maguire, who holds, who plays the ball into the path of McCallum. And uh, another return ball is a good one, and M Maguire's through. He could get through one-on-one -on -one here, skips onto his left foot and shoots. It's blocked and ends up in the net. It's 3-0 to Eastley. Rowe got a bit of a block on it. It took some of the power off, but it still drifted towards the goal. And it's found the goal, and Aldershot Town find themselves 3-0 down here. 4-3 defeat in the last minute. And they've not been behind in any home game at half-time all season until this one. Oh, Willard's been robbed. Eastley have got it, turned it inside. McCallum shoots and tucks it away. Goal number 21 for the season. And uh, it's 4-0 to Eastley in the 51st minute. And, uh, well, that one was all of Aldershot Town's undoing. And, uh, sadly, for the half-time substitute, Tommy Willard, um, it was careless in possession. And Paul McCallum has put Aldershot to the sword. ...by Jaden Harris, who's probably as good a presser 
out of possession as any player I've seen at this level. And he snaps away at the heels of McCallum, picks up the ball again, gets a shot in, it's off target. Oh, and then a brilliant save from Van Staffordshire from the follow-up effort from Chris McGuire. And that's not with any ambition towards even achieving a point here. It's just to keep their pride. Here's Maguire. Oh, thank you for breaking off, Steve. Monoga picks the ball up. Maguire was nearly in. Eastley are pressing so high. They've won it back again. Here is Quigley. He's inside the penalty area and he finishes with a plomb. He's got his goal. And the shots are 5 0 down before the hour mark here. This one coming in the 60th minute. All the shot getting pressed at the back, getting pressed high by Eastley. And we talked about it just two or three minutes ago. They've got the goal, Quigley now, that he will have wanted, he will have felt he deserved. And Aldershot Town nil, Eastley five. And uh, the other substitute for Aldershot was uh, Max Mullins. Aldershot ball in, and Jack Barham meets it at the far post. Ollie Harfield with another assist. And a moment to smile for the Shots fans. Harfield with another assist. Jack Barham with his 12th goal of the season in all competitions. He goes level with Josh Stokes and it's all shut down 1-5. Um, as the man of the match overall in this game this afternoon for the non-league paper, Steve, and also who you pick for Aldershot. It'll be the best of a, um, a, a poor bunch on the day, to be fair. Here's Tolledge picking the ball up. Oh, it's just wide. I think it was a cross, but it beat the arm out stretched up in the air from McDonnell. And I wondered if it nestled in the far post. But they've also come up against a really, really good Eastley team on the day. And uh, an Eastley team that have done their homework, prepared well and put Aldershot to the sword this afternoon. Here's Stokes on the edge of the area. Can he find one? He shoots. It's a great goal! Oh, as Barham goes level with Josh Stokes, Josh Stokes does something else, done too much this season. He scores at the high street end. And it's goal number 13 for the 19-year-old. Aldershot Town, two, Eastley five. Well, on him, he's been superb this season, particularly in an unfamiliar role. It'd be interesting to see where it would have gone from there, but it did go 5-0. Now it's 5-2. We've got 13 minutes left, and it would be the, com be the comeback of all times. That's a yellow card for Scott Quigley, for sure. Now, referee's called him Boldwine over, and he's reaching to his back pocket, and he shows red to Enzio Boldwine. It's the third red card of the season that this referee's shown. Boldwine has a wry smile on his face as he comes past the Aldershot Town fans. Now Willard involved. Willard still got it. Now he goes left to Scott. Widrington wants more tempo. Out to Harfield. Now the crossing from Harfield. Can Kwame Thomas get there? No. It's met at the far post by an Eastern player, but only as far as Key and Harris. Harris back to. Uh, Harfield gets the ball back again. Now he sends it in low to the feet of Barham. Shot, control and turn from him. Shot comes in. He's beaten away at the near post by McDonald. That's in plus five of 13. Ollie Scott forcing the corner. Saved at the near post. Shots have got it inside the penalty area with Willard. He goes back out to Harfield. Cross comes in from Harfield. Headed on by an Eastie player. Met by a combination of Tolladge and Baldwin. Oh, no, no, it's not Baldwin. Stokes! Another one! Josh Stokes! Rifles a right foot right shot home from inside the area. Put the shot down, three easily five. Inch left. Yep, at least. There might be some added time from within the added time. Is Tolladge squaring the ball, looking for Willard. Pokes it into the path of Ollie Scott. Ollie Scott going to the edge of the area, deflected in, oh, off the crossbar! Deflected off the defender and then hit the top of the bar, to be fair. It landed on the top and then it's gone behind. And anybody who says, was it one game too far? Well, they've answered that, haven't they? They were 5-0 down and they come back to 5-3. So they never stopped running, they never stopped trying. But this comeback, this time, was just a little bit too much. There is the final whistle, George. Aldershot Town. Eastleigh 5.